So the next question is how do we make and manipulate maps in Java? Um, well I've started doing some code for maps. So the first thing you have to do is import Java Util hash map. Uh, then in our main the first thing we're doing here is declaring a map whose first elements are of type integer no string and his second type elements are of type integer that's because we want to do things like add cricket bat 5 to our to our maps and here we're using the uh, constructor for hash maps with a, again string integer so these are generic hash maps so we can put any type here and any type here more or less so now what i'm doing is i'm adding to my price my map is called price and to, to i'm adding it the pair cricket bat and five as we've got here and then I'm just printing out my my price map to see what happens and when I compile and run the program it says cricket bat five so what I want you to do is sort of experiment more with with that so if we wanted to add um, tennis ball and one how would we do that well we would just simply say um, in here we would just say price dot put tennis ball tennis ball and one and now if we um, recompile our program we see our map now has got cricket bat five and tennis ball one. So now you know how to add stuff to a map. You say put price dot put if your map is called price, and you give it a pair of things. So if the first thing wasn't a string and the second or the second thing wasn't an integer, you'd get a, a compiler error message. <clears throat> so there's no point in remembering all the things that you can do with maps or any other. Any, any most things in programming because you can look them up so if in Google for example you type you put um, you put Java map you'd get you'd come up here which is information about the map interface in Java so what that does uh, what the useful thing about that is to go down and look at all the methods that you've got with maps. So here they all are. So um, how would we remove something from a map? That's a useful thing to be able to do. Can we remove something? Remove the mapping for a key from this map if it is present. Right, so in Java they call this the, the first component, they call it the key, and the second component they call the value. So the cricket bats and the tennis balls, those are the keys, and the numbers 5, 1, etc. are the values. So when we did put, we've done put already, and that took a key, which was a string, and a value, which was a number. In this case, because we're doing hash maps whose first element is a string and whose second element is an integer. Obviously, if we'd done it, we could have had hash map integer string, then the keys would be integers and the and the values would be would be uh, strings. So let's try removing. Uh, let's try removing uh, the uh, um, the cricket bat. So let's remove the cricket bat. Let's see if we can do that. So we've got to say. So let's. We're going to say first. We're going to say the name of the map, which is price. Dot remove cricket bat. So now if we print the map again, it should, if 
removes behaves the way we think it does from looking at the the Java API description it should remove it so let's system let's print out price again so first time it should have the the map with the cricket bat in and the second time not Yes, as you can see, we've got cricket bat five, tennis ball, and then the second time we printed out, we've just got tennis ball. So that was quite easy. Um, so now, suppose we wanted to change the value of um, a cricket bat. So really, all we have to do is we just put, we all, to do that, we just do another put with a different value. It's, a, it's exactly the same as doing an assignment statement. So if we, if we, if we did this, so instead of removing it, if we just changed it to a different value, then that should overwrite the previous one. Yeah, so now, having, <coughs> having changed the price of a cricket bat, we see it's now six. Uh, what other useful methods um, have we got here? Well, the size, how many pairs there are, checking whether it's empty, that's quite useful. Um, uh, uh, where's another useful one? The key set is useful. The key set returns a a set view of the keys contained in this map. So if we if we print out the key set of of our of our price map, it should print out uh, cricket bat and tennis ball. So let's um, let's let's see if that works. So we'll, what we're going to do is we're gonna set, we're going to print out price dot key set. So now if we compile that, um, we see that the key set is just the first element, the set of all the first elements of the pairs. So that's very useful if we want to um, iterate over the elements of our map. It's quite um, good. Easy, the best way to do that is using uh, the, the key set um, instance method. So what, suppose we wanted to, for example, add up all the elements. We wanted to see what our, the total cost of all our elements were. All our cricket bats and tennis balls and things like that. We'd have to do a for loop. So we'd say int total equals zero. We started off at zero. Then we say for, uh, see if I can remember how to do this. Um, for um, string k in price dot key set so k is iterating through all the elements of the of the our price map set so we want to do total becomes total plus we want to add the corresponding uh, in, um, value of each other thing so that'll be price dot get k get is the corresponding uh, gives us the second element of the pair where k is the first. So let's um, then finally we want to um, finally we want to print out the total to see if it's right. So let's um, print the total. So there's a nice print statement. We'll change that to total. if that works seven because uh, the, um, 
the cricket bat was six and the tennis ball was one. So if we change the tennis ball to ten, and recompile that, we see now it's gone up to 16. So uh, just to reiterate, price.get, so if I said price.get cricket bat, that's going to give me five, no six here, because that's the round of the cricket bat went up to six. Price.get dot, price dot of tennis ball will give us 10. Okay, so get is how we find the value for any particular key in our in our um, hash map. So that's more or less all there is to hash maps.